I'm late. I just got here. I just got here. I swear. Guys, I don't think I like this lip color. I'm running really late today. And I was like, I thought this is one of the new ones I just bought at Sephora. And it's so good for summer. It's like a good, I love a purpley lip. Uh, just a little, just a little like a little aubergine, if you will, a little bit of an eggplant. And uh, trust me, with the right ensemble, it's gorgeous. Was there a delay? Am I just talking to myself? Hello, anybody? Do you guys hear me? Are we with it? Are we with each other? Rose Lang says hello. Okay. Well, she might have been saying hi to everybody else. Somebody say something. Okay, I've said it. I swear to you, a purpley lip is so cute. With the hi, Julie, Shelly, love you. Jilbo, a purpley lip is so cute with the right color. Okay, there's a delay. Okay, so what I was saying is hi, Ursina. I don't know if I like this lip color. I just bought this at Sephora. Hey, Sandy Duncan. Hey, Nico. Uh, just a little afternoon delight, if you would, Rhonda McNeil. Lumen, Lemon Kello. That's so cute. T. Louise, Yarn Prepper B. Pickle. There was a slight delay. So, during this, this delay, see, now also this sweater looks stupid. It's a cute sweater, but then like when I sit back, but when I'm all up close, I look like a damn football player. So what I'm trying to say is, you know what I'm trying to say? Joe Virus! I know, Shelly, I love a purpley lip. I, I don't care who doesn't. I'm bringing it back. I'm bringing purple lips back. Them mother effers don't know how to act. That's right. I know some hip hop music. Okay. Don't try to say I don't. So here's the deal. A purpley lip is cute with the right summer dress. I'm telling you right now, if you get a little color of purpley in a dress, well, it doesn't have to be a dress. I suppose it could be just a shirt, if you will. If you do that, if you do that, hey, Lisa Vining, Blakey, I'm telling you right now, it's sexy as hell. I love it with my skin tone. Now, I just was two minutes late. I was running all over the house trying to get ready, but it's not cute with this. And I think it's because I don't like it with the turquoise. Is that what it is? I'm kind of upset about it. Like, I want to go upstairs and change it. Where have you been, John Shamwowski? I get tired of the nonsense. I'm going to tell you right now, I get real tired of it. Guys, I have to take a moment. We got to take a moment. Okay. Do I have a bruise on my forehead? This is so awful. I burned my forehead on a curling iron that Barb Mangano, Mangano, Tampa B man gave me when I was at her house. Okay. This is why Reese doesn't use hot tools because I was born into a cult and I did not have a mother and I didn't know how to cook and I didn't know how to do hair, nor did I know how to do makeup. Okay. Now, I learned how to cook and I learned how to do some makeup, okay? Never learned the hair, which is a shame because every time I see a girl with cool hair, I'm like, I wish I knew how to do that. So then once or twice a year, I get spunky and I'm like, I'm going to learn. And I went to try and uh, set the damn thing right on my forehead. Um, and then the next day I went and had my passport photos done. So it looks extra cool. Um, it's permanent and, uh, it will be there for 10 years on my passport. So I couldn't be more excited about it. To be honest, I'm really, uh, feeling cool with this thing on my forehead, feeling pretty neat, feeling pretty special. Uh, chaotic bleach. I love you, girl. Hi, Abigail. So let's see if we can try to hide it a bit. Let's see if we can pull some of these little shorties out that I have her cut. Is that better? Nope. You just kind of look more like a, a dirt ball. Okay. Well, anyway, so that's what that is. Um, it's the shirt because you never wear that color. What do you mean, Rain? Like in a bad way? What does that mean? I like this color a lot. Oh, boy. Oh, Lord. Um, so it's been one heck of a day. I'm going to tell you right now. Concealer? Okay, well, here's the deal. You can't really put concealer on a burn because I, I'm putting, I'm moisturizing it, but it's all, you know, it's like it's shriveling up and flaking off. So if I put concealer on it, you're only going to, it's going to look even more like I'm trying to hide something. 
So I just put it out there for you guys to see. Um, yeah, yeah. This top I bought with my friends, Laura Font, that's one of them. I bought this with my friends in Seattle and it's such a cute little, uh, it's a cute little sweater. Actually, I'm kind of hot in it. It looks good to me though. I always wear purple with my aqua hair. I love a purpley lip. Hey, Sharon Spaghetti. Um, I love a purpley lip. I always have, you know what? Call me Cray. So uh, guys, it's been quite a day. It's been, it's been a heck of a day. Um, I can't remember the last time I ate Chipotle and expanded like this. I got myself uh, some Chipotle and um, my bra is even tighter. It's the weirdest thing. I passed out for an hour. I, I always pass out when I eat Chipotle. I never eat Chipotle because it's so heavy, but it looked so good. And I felt bad for the guy at Chipotle because of course there was a line and, and how many, uh, Oh, Skyrider, I love you for it, girl. How many people go to Chipotle and you get frustrated because there's always somebody there that's like never been out into the wild of the world. They've never been into a restaurant. They've never seen other humans. It's always weird, but this happens to me when I go to Chipotle. I go to Chipotle, I'm like, white rice, black beans, veggies, veggie bowl, queso, load me up with some guac, you know, cheese, the hot sauce. You know, what? that old chestnut, right? Every time I go to Chipotle, it's like a new, brand new human being. It's so weird. Excuse me. Okay. Mark Hardman, you're a little angel and you know it too. You know it all day long. Thank you, Mark Hardman. Skip the line. Oh no. See, I don't do that because I got to see you making my burrito bowl. I got to watch. I like cheese and I see them try to skimp on that cheese. The girl will pick up six shreds of cheese and try to put it across. Same thing like if you go to a subs shop and you're like black olives, please, or banana peppers. And they pick up like a black olive and chop it into seven pieces. And they try to, I'm like, oh no, 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 dude. I'm Italian. You better load that up. And you're offending me. So it's the same thing. You can't call ahead. You can't order ahead with Chipotle. I need to watch. Reese is a control freak. She is when it comes to snacking. Absolutely. So there's always someone there that's like, what kind of food do you guys have? Uh, it's too, it's a shame. I get, I, I, I rarely get frustrated. That's not true at all. That's a lie, but you know where I'm going with this. Um, I mean, I have people, I, I just see people at Chipotle where it's like, you've never, have you never had a burrito? Like, why are you asking questions? You see the food and you don't need to lean across the glass. You also don't have to point over it. Um, you can point from behind the glass. That frustrates me because then people's arm hairs fall into it. I guarantee you, if somebody tries, this is why I don't do buffets, okay? I mean, for many reasons, buffets are gross and the people make me sad. But I also don't do buffets because arm hairs and nose hairs drop into that food. If you're going to go touch and like reach for food, do you know how many random arm hairs come off your arm? Give it a try. Pull some arm hairs and then just like, see, look, watch, just, they're just floating off into the breeze. Arm hairs are kind of fake. They're not real. It's like a fake plant. They just, it's just, they're just there for show, but they fall off. Hey, Anna Witt. And, um, they fall right into the food. Definitely arm hairs and, um, nose hairs. This is why I don't do buffets. So when people reach over at Chipotle, I just see the arm hairs floating because I have really good vision with my contacts in and I see the arm hairs float like little sheets of paper. They just simply float. They're doing this into your cheese. And then I get really, I get really upset. Yeah. I didn't grow up in a cult and burn my hand refilling my clothes steamer the first time the other day. Who knew it would be steaming hot water where the steam came out, babe. We've all been there. We've all been there. Hey, Nancy's Corner. Uh, so that's a bum deal. Anyway, I was that person at Chipotle today, okay? They really, yeah, they just float like so. It's just a, it's a very simple, it's a, it's a simple, it's in the breeze. If you watch closely, watch arm hairs. They'll float right into your food. Um, so there's that. 
Oh, yeah. So I was that person at Chipotle today. Hey, happy thoughts. Lisa, make it make sense. I don't eat meat. But when is Shark Week? Can someone tell me? Do you guys know when I'm supposed to start my cycle? Is he getting into that cat food? Get in here. Come here. Come here. I see you walking around. You're not supposed to be using your legs at all. You're supposed to park it over here. Hey, come lay down. No, 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 no. Come here. Okay, you can be as cute as you want with your toy. Every time Bo gets in trouble, he brings a toy over and goes, hey, let me distract you with this thing because you're so, because I'm so cute. Oh, he's so nice. He's a nice person. And he's been fairly depressed ever since he got groomed last week. He keeps walking around the house going, I look like a girl. And I say, you don't look like a girl. You're a poodle. And he says, you cut off all my curly hair. And I say, I didn't cut it off. The groomer did. Okay. So why don't you go take it up with her? So what was I saying? Don't you be eating that cat food, Bo. I swear to God. I had to buy a whole new bag. Hey. I know everything. I'm Italian. So, oh, oh, I was that person today at Chipotle. Well, when did the Willows? What a cool name. Looker, lurker here. Love you, Reese. Love you. It is so fire in here. I kind of want to take my pants off. It's so hot in here. Thank you for your uh, super chat. So I was that, this, this story is taking a long time. I kind of want to skip it at this point. It's not even that interesting, but I may, I feel bad because, oh, shark week. Does anybody know when I'm starting? Last month I started right after Valentine's day, didn't I? Yeah. Thursday, the 15th. So one, two, three. Okay. So Thursday, the 14th. So in a week, Hey, Tony, Tony Suter. Um, Tommy, you seem to be malfunctioning. You okay? It's his big pause. Tommy, did you say pants off? I am going to take my pants off. I did. I wanted to. It's hot in here. Okay. So we're about a week out um, from Shark Week. Oh, you don't know when you start? I am clockwork. My train is never late. That train, Bo, that train is never late for me. So I feel bad at Chipotle Day. I was holding up the line. I was getting some serious looks too because I don't eat meat. But for what a re I really wanted meat today. What's a dick swinger? Oh, I just demonetized myself. A dick swinger is a person who's very full of themselves, very egotistical. Um, they typically look like um, a dick swinger is typically going to drive like a really giant truck. Um, it could come in black. Typically, it's more of a silver color. Could be white. Um, and they're definitely going to have on a giant pair of Oakleys, um, you know, the big, thick plastic Oakleys uh, with the mirrored polarized lenses. Um, and they're going to usually have their music up really loud and they're going to um, they're going to cut you off in traffic. Um, what else does a dick swinger look like? Sometimes a dick swinger drives. um a uh, crotch rocket and they weave in and out of traffic trying to be cool. Sometimes they'll like pop it up and do the wheelie thing. You know, it's hard because sometimes a dick swinger will come out of nowhere and you're like, Oh, I didn't think there were any dick swingers to be swung here. Unfortunately there are. Uh, there's a lot of dick swingers at country clubs. You'll find them. Also you'll know a dick swinger because their voice is super loud and they want you to know it. No, Tommy, no. Driving a Prius does not a dick swinger make. Um, oh, there's a lot of them at gyms. They wear a lot of Axe body spray. Um, you'll know a dick swinger. Um, one time, um, they project their voices. So you either got the like, mm, the kind that like have a mullet and they're driving the truck and they got the Oakleys. That's a dick swinger. But it's weird because they'll throw you off. They also wear like sassy clothes. Well, hi. Speaking of sassy, hi, Prancy. Um, they also dress nice. So you got to be careful. You got to be careful because sometimes you think you see one. For me, I like a polished gent. Okay. That's, that tends to be my thing. I, I kind of like a polished look. And uh, so they'll have the popped collar and they'll look sexy as hell. And you go up and you try to flirt and they're like, I'm a big deal. 
uh, and they they're loud and they talk about their portfolio or whatever that is. Um, they'll talk about the, you know, their, their venture capitalists or whatever. And they're, you know, invested in this and that. And you're like, holy dick swinging, holy dick. Yeah. Um, in traffic, there is a song. Um, if somebody cuts you off and they have on the Oakleys, you just go and they hear you because they do for me. You go swing that dick, swinging dick. And they really like it. They like it as they peel out, you know, in a 35 mile an hour zone, they peel out doing like 60 weaving. Um, what do we do when we're attracted to a dick swinger? Who? Um, that sounds like more of a problem that you need to probably work on for yourself. I've never been attracted to a dick swinger. The second a dick swinger was, um, you didn't know he was a dick swinger, which I have a very good way of telling when I see a dick swinger. I usually know from afar. Um, they usually stand a certain way. And they're like super proud peacocks. You know, they really puff out the chest. Um, I, I see one coming from Miles. But every once in a while, there is one that's good at, at what he does. Okay. And uh, no, Tommy, you're a watch swinger. That's not the same thing. You swing your watches. Your watch. Um, they, um, God, I don't know. I've never been attracted to one. When as soon as a dick swinger opens their mouth. Well, what is it, Chauncey? I know. As soon as they open their mouth, um, it's just really fun. Like, I actually enjoy it because they're not used to kind of being, I think they're used to being like alpha, you know? They're real, they're real confident. They're real confident. And whenever I'm around one, I got to talk like this because I can't even talk normal because I just can't stand it. Um, dick swingers really rub me the wrong way, but in a good way, like I enjoy them. I have fun. I rarely see a female dick swinger. I have to be honest. I mean, they're out there. Well, thank you, Ashley forever, but, oh, VT kitten, it's such a turnoff, but in a fun way, like when you meet somebody and they're like, I'm a big deal girl. I love it. Cause I like to try to take it apart. And I'm like, you know, oh, hi, Leslie Martin. Uh, like there's just nothing worse. So I often laugh at it, you know, and I see the way they stand and the way they, you know, their body language and they're just like, yeah. So uh, I don't know what to say when you're attracted to a dick swinger because I've never heard of anybody being attracted to one. I'm always shocked when you meet a dick swinger and they have a ring on. I'm like, who puts up with this? Like who in their right mind, unless she's doing time. Like I assume when I see the ring on, I'm like, oh, she's in prison. Cause she attempted murder. Like she tried to kill your ass because who wouldn't, I mean, I'm sorry, but, um, you're so nice. I, uh, I couldn't do it. I can't do it. And I won't do it. It's one thing uh, I won't do. I have to be honest. There's, I would do anything for love, but I won't do that. No, I won't do it. Uh, Sandy McKenna, Sandy McKenna, you haven't missed much, girl. I've just been flapping my gums and uh, blabbering about a bunch of nonsense. So I do want to. That's a good point. When attracted to dick swingers, use birth control. Um, that. Yeah. So if you're going to be. A, I don't know who's attracted to a dick swinger. Um, honestly, I, does anybody besides our friend who asked and we don't want to shame her for it, but I. I. Whew. When you see a personality like that, uh, whoo wee. I, um, I've said it before and I'll say it again. I would rather take a bubble bath with my father. I can't imagine. You love a dick swinger, Vix? Okay, well, we, hey, everybody lay off, Vix. We're cool. It's cool. Um, oh, with a wallet to match. Okay, I kind of get it. I'm a bit shallow myself, friend. I'm a bit shallow myself. I am attracted to men with money. I said it and I meant it. Um, people who have low self-esteem, uh, that would be me as well. That would be me as well. Um, it is tough. You know, I often think this, like, could I? It would have to be a lot of money. Like there would have to be so many perks to offset 
the dick swinging personality, there would have to be so many perks for me. Like I, we would have to have like several properties that I could run to, um, like a place in the Bahamas with a yacht. I mean, I'm talking like, and see, I'll never be that girl because I'm chubby. My boobs are small. Like I'm not at that level. I've always said, I think I could attract like a half millionaire. I bet you anything I could be with a guy that, um, you know, enough, like enough. I, I, I think I could do that. I mean, I'm 39. I'm about to not be able to, I'm, I'm getting there. I realize that, you know, um, thank you, Shannon C. But yeah, I'm never, I'm not the attractive level anyway. Hi, Mindy Doolin, where I could, D is not small boobs. I know. I know that we recently found out I'm a D cup, but they go this way. They don't have the volume like a Victoria's Secret model. So who cares? Like who cares what size they are? They're just like little water balloons that are just nobody, you know, they're just, what do you do with these? Like, I don't know. But I knew, I knew, I've known for a long time. I'm never going to be a girl that has like a super millionaire guy. I've seen those girls and they deserve, you know, to get it. They, they look really good. Um, and, and good for them, you know, as it should be, but I am not, uh, I'm not going to get to that point. Now I do think that there's, you know, I think I could be taken care. Are you in that food? Hold on a minute. God dang it. Go lay down right now. Son of a... Okay, you need to go lay down. You have been kind of bad all week. We've talked about it. And I don't understand the life choices that you're making. And you know what? Now isn't the time to have this conversation because you tried, you wouldn't listen to me earlier and I'm not going to have the talk now. But you are not acting right with your life choices. And I think you know this, okay? And I don't know if it's a case of the terrible twos. A half million isn't a lot these days. And I worry about this for my future, you know? I don't know what I need to do to get, uh, step it up a notch, you know? Oh, I forgot to do something. Hold on. I'm not going to be able to see you guys for a minute. Thank you. Lay it down. Got it. Okay. Um, uh, what was I saying? The half millionaire. Yeah. Yeah, it's so annoying. It's really annoying. Uh oh, Mindy Tool Dooling, that Doolin. That is fascinating. Why is the food where can he get to it? He can't get to it. He's getting over and through things to get to it. And it's really frustrating my life. Uh sorry guys. I know what I wanted to say. And oh, look, there's 666 people in the chat. What a great lucky number. While we're on that number. Yeah, Vix, that's not a bad idea. <laughs> Rick Swinger. Literally, Lisa, welcome, babe. So uh, guys, I want to take a moment. Okay. In light of my recent lives, and all of the things, uh, can you put it on the counter? No, because kid eats downstairs because the dogs have to eat upstairs. It's just a whole thing. We had a family meeting about it. And uh, when I say family meeting, I'm talking about the animals, not the other people in my family. And that was just what was best. So in light of my recent uh, lives, we know what's come up. We know what's come up. I want to take a moment to acknowledge and welcome the haters, the haters. I want to say hello to them and say, you know, I know you're here now. I used to be naive about this. And I was like, everybody in here is family and we all get along. Well, now that I know that there are some people in here that don't like me, well, I should say at least one. And we know she's watching because she uh, likes to take that kind of time. So we, we, let's just acknowledge her. We want to say hello. We're trying to, uh, I'm coming around. I'm coming around. I got to say, 
I got to, I got to say, it's, I got to talk about something, two things, one thing, let's hurry up and say, because I'm going to forget tonight, seven o'clock, the height is seven o'clock my time, which may not be your time, but it is my time. And that is at seven Eastern, not Eastern central. Hello, central Tommy Scoville, Tommy Gunn Scoville and I are doing a serious number, okay? We're gonna do something we've never done before. And I want to hop this curve, okay? I want to jump over. I wanna wade into unknown waters with Tommy. Now I want him there with me. I'm not gonna do it myself. Like in case some scary animal comes up, I wanna be able to shove Tommy and run. You know what I mean? Like a lady should. But uh, hey, haters, everybody say hi to the haters, whatever we wanna call them. So tonight at that time, I can't, Ray. Tonight at that time, Tommy and I are doing a, um, thank you, Kathy G. We are doing a live and we're going to talk about my Scientology. He's got some questions nobody's ever asked me before. And I have to say, I'm incredibly excited about this. And I, I also, true, truth and honesty here, I want to be, I want to be super clear. I'm excited about this, I think more than anything, because one, Tommy and I can talk about anything, anything. And you've seen that. Viewers, Tommy, come on, you're being too nice. That's not, that's, that's out of character, Tommy. Come on. No, they're not viewers. They hate me. They're family. That's what we should call them. Um, and we usually shoot the, you know, the biz, Tommy and I, and I'm really excited about this because I want to, I want to hop the curb and I want to go serious with him. I want to go deep. I want to do a deep dive. If you know what I mean. Anti Wombat. This is for the old bat hater family member. F off into the forever. You aren't wanted here. Bless you, my child. Um, I love that. And, um, you know, I think that's what, I think that's what needed to be said. And I love it. And, uh, and that's the way of the Lord. I think that's what the Lord would want. Mary Grubbs. Thank you so much. You know, Sometimes people need a swift kick in the ass and sometimes it needs to come from up high. Okay. Sometimes it does. Hey, Jody. So here's the thing. My partner, Tommy, uh, is going to ask me some serious questions and I think it's going to get real and I think it's going to get serious. And I want you guys to be there with me for it. I really do. I hope that there's 723 of you in here. I hope that you can moon each daydream girl. I haven't seen you in a minute. I hope you can be there. Uh, meddlers are the absolute worst. Okay. So moving off the subject, please be there. Be square. If you can make it, please make it. Look at this. Hello. Love this girl. Sorry. I had to correct the falsehoods. I was 400 literal pounds when I met my guy, rich, wait, my rich guy, his name wasn't rich. He was rich. Big difference. Reese, get it right. Okay. Hold on. My I'm tingling now. He's rich. Okay. Are we crying tonight? Probably I'm starting my period in a week. So you put, you do the math there. It takes all kinds of, for love and multiple properties and skills, I'm guessing. Now look, growing up in a cult, I didn't, uh, wasn't taught anything. I had to teach myself. You know what I mean? And I did. Better together. I love to hear that. There is hope then. I, um, I was at the doctor's this morning and I am about 181 right now. I've lost another 10 pounds. So what you're saying is there's hope. Oh my God, you've never given me money before in my life. Why are you giving me money and why does it feel so good? Is there a tr is this part of what we're talking about, Tommy? You trying to watch swing or perhaps join the human race instead? If not, I agree with Wombat. Okay, well, I, all right. I mean, that's cool, but I thought you were gonna be more like, hey, I'm a watch swinger and I got, I got mad cash, okay? But that's a good start, Tommy. I've never received money from you before and it felt good. I'm going to be honest. It felt I'm kind of jittery. It felt good. It's starting to feel like an addiction already. Like I, it was my first hit. And I want more already. Is that shallow? Of course it is. Is that the truth? Yes, that's what we do here. Um, it turned me on. It turned me on. And you know what? I uh, was accused of that last night uh, with our particular friend. I got to be honest with you guys. I got to talk about it. I got to talk about it. 
I mean, I've already gone there for the last four lives. It's like one of those things. I just can't stop at this point. My own mother's like, you talked about it again. I'm like, cause we can't stop and we won't stop. That's a Miley Cyrus song. I heard it for the first time the other day and I liked it. Uh, Sharon, master haters, not to be confused with a person who debates math, like a math debater. If you get it, you get it. Okay, so uh, thank you so much, by the way. I did it again. Thank you, Doc. I shall. Um, by the way, what a stupid song. I'm sorry, that was a dumb song. I looked at the lyrics of that song. She says, we can't stop. We won't stop. That's cool. Okay. I mean, really original, right? But then she says, wait, what does she say? What does she say? Something like, we love things, things don't love we. Come on, Miley, you can do better than that, girl. That's silly. That's weird. Nobody talks like that. You don't just go into a place and be like, we love Chipotle. Chipotle doesn't love we. That doesn't even make sense. It's not even grammatically correct. By the way, Dawn in Wyoming, when I went to lunch with her, she gave me this. Is this the coolest mermaidy cup you've ever seen? But I can't get the lid to work and I need help. Somebody help me. There it goes. Um, who talks like that? Thank you, Lacey. Um, yeah, it's just a weird thing to say. We Doesn't she say like, we love things, things don't love we? Who the hell says that? I've never heard a person say that. I was like, what? That doesn't even make any sense. Oh my God, it's Denver Stevo. I'm still laughing at your comment yesterday. Somebody posted it in the Facebook group and you are hilarious. What did you say? Reese, your narcissism and lying is what attracted me, drew me to you in the first place. Stevo, you won for the day. That was amazing. Kelly Copter. Oh my God, I love Kelly Copter. Kelly, even though we don't talk, I hope you know that I love you. And it's one of those friendships that like, we don't have to talk. You know what I mean? I just really love you, girl. I hope you know that. Bye, Tommy. We love you too. Thanks for the money. Maybe you can make it a, a thing. I'm kind of into it. Uh, Kelly, I just hope you know that. And Kelly, we are, uh, we're talking about the height is, the height is. Kelly, so let's talk about this, guys, because I got to go there. I did something bad. I did something bad again. Let me take a sip. Mm. Was that what I said? We run things, things don't run we. Who talks like that? Who goes out in public and says that? It just seems like a weird thing to say. I don't know. It felt weird. Didn't feel right in my heart. Oh, Wendy Brewer, I love you. I'm sorry that you need a hug and I can't give it to you, babe. I love you, Wendy Brewer. Know that we're here for you. All 800 of us, girl. It's a tune, Reese. Okay, Vix, but it doesn't feel right. It just doesn't feel right in my heart. Jenny Snyder, I'm so glad you made it. Love you, Reese. Do the haters have names? Inquiring, my they do, Simon, but you know I can't. I can't yet. But I did record the conversation last night. Because mama said not to, but I did it anyway, misbehaving. I did it for you, Linda. I did it for you because it did feel right to sing that. I'm kind of misbehaving. Re or rye. Uh, this one is for the haters. Couldn't have been motivated to do this without you. Oh, my God. I love you. Thank you so much. You're hilarious. Hey, Regina. Okay. New tapes being released. New tapes are going to be released, Skywriter. Hey, Christine Jones. Guys. My Scientology. Did I punch someone? I've never hit anybody in my life. I don't even know how to punch. I think Tommy said thumb out, not your thumb in, thumb out. I don't even know how to do it, guys. Hell no, I'm not swinging at anybody. I will run and hide. Guys, the hater. I did something bad. The, uh, yeah, I've been recording a lot these days. I only know Scientology, okay? And that's what the haters say. That's what this person said. Jeff said it too. Jeff was like, all she knows is Scientology. What do you expect? She's a liar and a fraud. So I was like, well, if the shoe fits, when in Rome. So uh, I guess I'll just go by what they say. They are the experts. Now I'm not throwing Jeff under the bus here. Jeff and I are actually cool. We're calm. We're good. But this particular hater, minus Jeff, 
um, made a phone call last night over here. And um, I have to say, I have to say, I am proud of myself. I'm not proud of what I said. Look, I'm not, I'm not entirely. <laughs> Blake Reed. I love Blake Reed. I'm not proud of what I said. Okay. Let's just get that out there. But I stood up for myself and I haven't done that. And I can't remember how long I truly stood up for myself. I was like, uh-uh, no, you're not going to talk to me like this. And I mean, I said a few other words. Well, look at that. It's our little Barbara. It's our little best friend, Barbara. And she is exceptionally beautiful every day. But thank you, my love. You know, I love you. Uh, Lori, thank you for your super chat sticker. Okay. Yeah, it had to be done. Hi, Tony P. Guys, it had to be done. And it felt good. It felt real good. I'm telling you right now. My Scientology came out in droves. My Scientology was like, and we're here for you, girl. It was crazy. My Scientology popped out like an 80s song. It was like, Josie's on a vacation far away. That's what my Scientology did. It was like, woo! Yeah, it was good to go. And uh, it happened. Um, you know I like my guys a little bit older. Yeah, it was... Uh, it had to be done and it felt good. It felt good. Oh, you, you're stressing about your finances and you need my positivity. Uh, I stress about mine as well. And um, yeah, I just, usually I have a snack. If it doesn't feel good, it ain't worth doing. Words to live by, Denver Steve-O. Was Jeff being facetious, Reese, when he said you're a liar and a thief? No, no, I think he was being very serious, Zoe. Uh, we're having some trub on the home front. There's a little bit of trub, but uh, do you really think so? Kelly, we just talked about this when we started. I wasn't sure if the lipsticks went with the earrings. So I love you for saying that. Well, now I'm over it. If Kelly Copter thinks it's good, then it's good. You don't question Kelly Copter. Uh, yeah, I straight up Tom Cruise her ass. That's a good way of putting it. Uh, I love that song too. I love 80s. Uh, thank you, Armine. Uh, let's speak to the expert here about, uh, this is our expert weighing in, Steven Seagal. Reese, you make a ball with your fist, but you curl your thumb inwards. Where? Oh, okay. You want to avoid pressure from your thumb. So like, maybe like that, you don't put it like that. Cause then your thumb would get, okay. Guys. Uh, yeah. I Tom cruised her ass. I did too. I felt like Tom Cruise in that interview. It really did, truly. I, I was probably, you know, I probably, I did. Let's just not say probably. I did. I probably, let's take out the probably, Reese. I did. Um, I Thank you, Sandy McKenna. I, I Tom Cruise it. I, this is how I used to talk to people when I was it, it, on staff, in, in, I used my intention. I tried to impinge. Uh, I was one of them for sure. I flipped a switch and I was right back where we started. Uh, and I was like, yeah, you're crossing a line and you know you did. Pick up your manners right now off the floor and put them the F back in. I, thank you, sweet koala. It was kind of hilarious. <laughs> I recorded it and I went back and listened to it and I couldn't stop laughing at myself. I was like, whoa, full Scientology mode. We kicked it into the highest gear and it happened so fast. And um, you know how I say a dog that bites is a dog that bites? Once a Scientologist, you're probably all, now I will say you pushed me to a point. I, it was a very high heated, I don't know what the color of the lipstick is, Joy of Cats. It, uh, it's a Sephora lip stain um, and it's the purpley one. It was, here's the thing. I want to say, it's, what's this now, Kelly? Where we could get ready together and do our makeup and chat girly talk. Okay, that's the best thing I've ever heard in my life. Absolutely. You tell me when and I will get up for it. I will be, I don't want to get up too early. I mean, Within reason, Kelly, but I'd love to. I'd absolutely love to because I love you so much and I don't want you to ever forget that. Don't ever feel ignored. I just happen to be a bit of a recluse. It's me, not you. 
She special ordered that peanut butter and jelly knuckle sandwich. She sure did. Hey, Vintage of Kiwi is a new member. Uh, she got a good dose of F around. Find out. Um, I straight up, I'm just kind of, I'm glad I recorded it, one. But two, it's crazy to go back and like, I, I, I have to say this though. I have to say. It was a high. Oh, Kelly didn't want to do a makeup and girly video with you, Tommy. Well, I'll sneak you in. How's that sound? I'll, I'll send you a link and you can sneak in with us. Um, because you, Tommy, every time you dress up, it always brings out the clothing always brings out your good lips. So we'll, we'll dress it up and we'll make it look good. I like that for you. I will say, I know Kelly's in the UK. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. I'll make it work. Um, I will say that guys, it was a high, high heated <laughs> when they super, when they supersize that McFind out meal. Yeah. Find out real quick. Again, it's not my style to go off the rails like that. I, I've told you a million times, and I mean it. I can't play the recording. I'm not going to play it right now. But I'm going to repeat what I said, and that'll have to be good enough for now. But I, um, it was a lot of spice. Dawn in Wyoming. Josie's on a vacation far away. Dee -dee 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 -dee. I don't know the words to that song. But I like when she, he says, I like, you know, I like my girls a little bit older. I always switch it to my guys a little bit older. And you know why. And so do I. This is my gift from Dawn in Wyoming this week. And I love it so much. It's so mermaidy. Nancy Stitchin. I love Nancy Stitchin. Oh, my God. I love her so much. Thank you, Nancy. She's always supportive. So I just have to say, because we actually do need to unpack this a little bit. Yes, Kelly, let's do it, girl. You give me the time. Again, within reason. I don't like to get up before, you know, seven-ish. But, you know, I can make it work. Um, they do, Blake. They're cool cups. Guys, I, uh, me too. Me too, Sunny in London. I, I did it. I came a little bit unhinged and it came back so quick. We, we do need to unpack that a little bit because it's not good that I reacted that way, but it was a very high stress, high heated situation. And I was being, uh, I felt attacked. I, I really truly would use the word attacked. I'm not being dramatic. I felt attacked. And, uh, you know, it's, uh, my Scientology kicked right in for me. And uh, I sometimes am thankful for that training. I definitely typically in a situation, I feel like I need to blow my nose. Let's mute it. Hold on. I know, Brian. It was just funny because, oh, Tommy and I are going to sing on the cruise too, Denver Steve. -O. We're going to do uh stop right there. I got to know right now. Yeah, we're going to sing that too. And then we're also going to sing the uh, Let Him Say We're Crazy. I don't care about that. We're going to sing that song too. Put your hand in my hand, baby. Don't ever look back. Ursina. Thank you, Ursina. Thank you. Thank you. I defended myself and it felt good. Uh, thank you. I love Kai is walking away, but sometimes, yeah. So Kai, typically I would have absolutely. <laughs> I'm about to drop a body, motherfucker. Yes. I, most of the time I've never karaoke before Kelly, but I'm feeling, I'm, it feels right. I'm telling you right now, most of the time I would have cowered and I would have walked away. I would have been like, I'm not doing this. I mean, typically, yeah, we're going to live stream the cruise for sure. I would have typically been like, I'm not doing this. Instead, I breathe, I was breathing some fire and it felt good. It felt good. I don't regret it. I went back and listened to it uh, to see if I would regret it, to see if I felt any kind of, now I, I, again, I said some things that were probably not friendly, you know, but it wasn't intended to be friendly. It was very attack mode and, uh, who did Reese tell off? Uh, one of Jeff's family members. And it didn't start out slow. Like this person, 
was going off on Jeff last night after my live. She, she watched the whole thing, right? She's watching now. She went off on Jeff. I come upstairs to get more water and I hear her yelling through the phone and I hear Jeff going, I don't know. Maybe I have no idea. And I walked up to his phone. I said, does anybody need questions answered? I'm, I'm here for question and answer right now. If you need me to answer anything. And Jeff was like, no, get out of here. You know, he's like mad at me. And then I guess she said, no, I'd like to talk to her. And I was like, woo, showdown, put it on speaker. So I was feeling sassy. I was already feeling fiery. And uh, this person just went off. And I was like, I was so hardcore mean. Like I started this thing off. I sounded like a Scientologist, like the Scientologist, you guys. I was, I, I was above L. Ron Hubbard last night for sure. I was like the most high person in Jeff's family. I was so, I, I'm ashamed to say it. I started this conversation so Tom Cruise and I went, what do you want? I said, you're wasting my time. <laughs> <laughs> it felt so good. I was like, burn. It was so mean. I just jumped off guns blazing. I was like karate chopping all the way down to the end. Oh my God. It is an afternoon delight. It's a spicy afternoon delight. Fancy Nance. Uh, going to catch the rest on replay. Walking to the pain management doctor. Super proud of you, Reese. Have a good an appointment, girl. I had to get my blood drawn this morning and uh, I hope my A1C is gold. Yeah. Um, straight up, Tom Cruise. <laughs> what did Jeff say after hearing you? Well, Jeff got pissed because I, right when she said, I want to talk to her. I was like, oh, hold on just a second. Let me pull up my recording app. And I started recording and Jeff was like, she's recording. He was like, stop, don't say anything. And I was like, why? It's just for me. I'm just recording. I mean, I'm just a sleuth. Everybody knows I record everything. I'm, that's how I get by in life. So we kept recording. No one seemed to care. <laughs> so I was like, you're wasting my time. I was all, oh, I was so mean. Yeah. I was a bit fire breathing. It was bad. It felt good. God, it felt good. I was like, this needs to come out and you're the perfect person to shit all over right now. So, uh, yeah, you know, I've been taking a probiotic and my guts haven't ever gone back to normal since I got poisoned in clear water. Pretty sure I spewed that poison out last night and got it all out. Um, so this person was like recordable Reese. Oh my God. We should totally, Oh my God, that's the cutest thing I've ever heard. Recordable Reese. Uh, once you see it, you can't unsee it. That's amazing. We can't look back. Put your paddle in my paddle. Don't ever look back. Yeah. I, <clears throat> yeah. <clears throat> no, it wasn't Bo Beats recordable Reese. Oh my God. Yeah. You've had 39 years of toxicity. It was time. It came out with a meddler. We're just going to call her the meddler. Cause it, it's, 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 it's feisty. I like it. Uh, please set a series called recordable Reese. Oh my God. Yeah. It was human reactions. Kings kid. That's a beautiful way to put it. I, I got human last night. I became human last night. Um, is my shirt furry? No, it's um, it's a sweater. It's sweater-like material. Katie Fulton, I didn't know you were in here. I love you. Bet Medler. Bet Medler. <laughs> I love the Medler. The Medler is going to be in our lives every time, guys. So I want you to make sure you know it. You feel good about it. You say hello. You give it your uh, give it your all. Feisty cat. Yeah, it went on for about six minutes. I know this because I recorded it. And uh, it wasn't my best work. I feel bad. I don't usually treat people that way or talk to them that way, but um, it felt good. I woke up feeling good. I felt sassy. I even got a needle in my arm this morning and I wasn't afraid. She went to poke me and take my blood. And I was like, you know what? I'm feeling like Steven Seagal this morning. Do it, girl. I was like, put it in. Not in a sick way. Hopefully she didn't take it that way now that I'm thinking about it. <laughs> the meddler yeah hey meddler um so guys it went on and on and it didn't improve it only got a little worse and um 
no, this is not a mother-in-law. No, but I, uh, it, it, Brian, I needed to do it. I needed to do it and I did it. And, um, it got weird. Cause I was like, she was like, I'm a Christian. Cause she was talking about, oh, I guess that's better than me, which it is. I don't have any doubt. Christians probably are better than me. I, I'm not trying to be like, you think you're better than me? Of course you're better than me. Most people are better than me. You think I haven't known that my whole life? I walk out of the front door and I go amongst the crowds and I know for a fact where I came from versus where other people are, you're better than me. I already know that. It's like our friend who's made fun of me before. I'm not going to say his name, but he was like, Reese looks like job of the hut. And I was like, dude, if you're going to attack me on my looks and weight, nobody thinks I'm uglier than I do. So you're going to have to come at this with a different angle. Also, I've got hours and hours of training for this shit to bounce off. It's not getting to me, I promise. Like if you're going to attack me with that basic ass insult, you're going to have to come at me better. So she was like, I'm a Christian. And I was like, right. And she was like, you're in a cult. This is so disappointing when people do this. When, you, when you're going to have a... Sorry, I heard something and it frightened my soul. When you're going to have a... When you're going to have a showdown, you want to make sure that you're, match, you're matched with the right person to have a showdown with. Because otherwise it gets sad and disappointing real quick. Like when that person, I expected to be like George Carlin, like super clever and quick and witty. And that person was like, Reese looks like Jabba the Hutt. And I was like, okay, your jokes fell really flat, dude. And I'm going to need you to step it up with the clever, okay? Because we're not matched. We're not matched. So it was the same thing. Um, <laughs> I did, Blake. Um, but she went on with the Christian talk. And she was like, you're in a cult. And I was like, oh, no, I hope nobody finds that out. Are you serious? We have got to kick this into a higher gear. Like, can you find the gas pedal? This has to become more interesting. I'm not going to waste time, you know, in this interview like Tom Cruise. I was like, you crossed the line. You know you did. So she went on and on. And I feel kind of bad because at one point I was like, she was like, eh, 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 and she was trying to get stuff out. And I said, spit it out, Chris, sister Christian. I was like, get it out, sister Christian. Sister Christian, oh, the time has come. And you know that. You know. I love that song too. So uh, it didn't quite get spicy enough for my liking. I would have liked to have more of like a tie hot, you know, not just that mild shit. Uh, yeah, I know Annika's mom. Uh, but it's so funny when people come at you and, uh, oh, and she was like something about Christianity. And she was like, and you'll, oh, she was like, you'll never know what it's like to be a Christian. She was like, you'll never know what it's like to be a good person and help people. And I was like, girl, my, my heart is as dark. I come from the seventh circle of hell again. What are you accomplishing? Like all of these little things were just like bullets falling off. I was like, this has got to step it up. Like you have got to do better than this. Uh, yeah, it was kind of, yeah. Sister Be Betty. Oh, Bet, Bet Medler. Sorry. Yeah, Bet Medler. Christian Medler. Uh, yeah, the Medler. Well, or we could call her Sister Christian. What's your price? Does he say for flight? I just like that part where he goes, and finding Mr. Right. I want to make out to that song. I know that's weird, but it's kind of a sexy song. Um, does she not realize you came from an ice cube? Exactly. Sandy McKenna wins for the day. I am cold as ice. I have no feeling. I'm feeling feelings for the first time. I am literally thawing out for the first time uh, in trillions of years. So you're little tiny, you know, you're in a cult. You're not a Christian lady. Of course I'm not. And again, I feel a little bad about that. You know, I probably shouldn't have called her sister Christian, but it felt right at the time. And I, sorry. You've made out to that song. 
I want to. Yes, Sandy, I'm defrosting day by day. Yeah. So it just got darker and weirder. And it got weird because, uh, yeah, that's from Lady Co. I love this ring. It got Martha Slammer. Love you, girl. I hope you got my email. I emailed you back. Um, in what's your price for flight? Where'd it go? Wait, where'd it go? Help me. Where is it? I lost it. This is so weird when a comment disappears. Oh, okay. What's your motoring? What's your price for light? Well, somebody else just said it was flight. Well, now I don't know which it is. Somebody get us the real lyrics. Joe Virus, we got a DJ in here. Will Huber, it sounds like the meddler emasculates. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, Will. For sure that happens. You know, I've never been much of an emasculating person. I've always thought men should be very masculine if they want to be, like if they don't want to be fine. But I've never thought it was appropriate for a woman to be emasculating to a man. It turns me off. I think it's weird. I think a man should have his place as far as, well, thanks, loves Alaska. Just, I don't like it when people play dirty and tear a man down. That's weird. That's weird. Um, and I've seen women do it. And it's gross. It turns me off. Uh, she gives us, because I like the aroma of a manly man. I think it's sexy when a guy is very alpha, but, but kind. A true alpha is a kind individual. He's just strong. He's a man's man. Who would want to tear that down? Like, why would you want to change it? You know what I mean? Uh, uh, Abigail, I don't think differently of Christians at all. I think Christians are very good people. I think Scientologists for the most part are good people. I don't think any, there's any particular group that are probably like super evil. I think she thinks, all right. I knew it. I knew it. Let's get it. Get it. Get it. Motoring. What's your price for flight? You got him in your sights. You're driving through the night. Okay. Well, that's one of the verses, but he also says like, what's your price for flight in finding Mr. Right? You'll be all right tonight. I love that song. Thank you, Joe, for clarifying and paying me to clarify. That is, that's another thing she said. She was like, you'll never have any friends in real life. And I was like, I don't know. It just doesn't seem like it's that good of, a, of an insult. And she said, all you'll do is buy your friends. And I was like, actually, they buy me. I don't know what you mean by that. I don't buy my friends. Joe Virus just gave me $5 for the lyrics to Sister Christian. Sister Christian. So I felt a little confused on that insult. I was like, buy my friends. I don't have enough money to buy friends. That doesn't even make any sense. Yeah, it was pretty bad. It was, uh, it was a sad fight. And I also want to say, by the way, speaking of Anne, Tommy Scoville has me, uh, he has me, I got to tell him this tonight. I don't know if he's still in here. He's driving me nuts. I talk to him all the time. And when I watch his show, he's got me hooked on doing this and it's driving me nuts. He does it all the time. Blah, 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 blah. And do you guys ever notice that he does that? Now I find myself doing it and it's driving me crazy. I'm like, Tommy, stop doing that. Cause I'm doing that. Uh, I pay if I want bitch. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Come at me. Uh, Tommy does it all the time. He'll be like, and la, 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 sentence, 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 sentence. And it's driving me. Tommy, you've got to stop doing that. Cause it's making me do it. God, he's cute though, isn't he? He's squeezy. And I want to get a hold of his little falcon, his little falcon beak and his little squeezy cheeks. Uh, does Medler need a <laughs> membership gift? Maybe if she's here long enough, she will see in real life. No one is better than anyone else. Also, the singing is on point tonight. Thank you so much. It is kind of a singing kind of a day. Um, that's the other thing she said. And then I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop. The other thing she said, which was hilarious. It's so funny when somebody points out the obvious. She goes, I see you have, like Jeff was right there. So he's listening, right? Who cares? I don't care what Jeff hears. He knows everything. She goes, I see you with your little boyfriend on YouTube. It sounded like the Wicked Witch of the West. She was like, and your little dog too. She was like, I see you with your little boyfriend. And I said, which one, girl? I got lots. I was like, which one? 
And she goes, I know you have more than one. And I said, well, you know, everything you're, you're, you're a huge watcher. I said, name them, which one you got, pull them out. I was like, of course I do. <laughs> Jeff's just sitting there. He's just being Jeff. But she was like, I know. She was like, I know that she goes, you flirt all the time with him. And I was like, the sexy one, the bald one. And she was like, yeah, your boyfriend. And I was like, he is my boyfriend again. Yeah, it was crazy. It was hilarious. It was very, it was it very in real time was like, and your little dog too. I was like, yes, that's correct. We do a show together and uh, we do a little of this and that on the side. He's my boyfriend. Come on, everybody knows. Catch the fuck up. As a Christian, I know Jesus doesn't like her behavior. She needs to go to church. Julie, I couldn't have said it. I can't say it because I am not a Christian, but I'm glad somebody said it. Julie has a past to say it. I can't tell somebody to go to church. I go to church like Al Pacino and uh, the devil's advocate. I stick my finger in the holy water and it starts sizzling. I can't say it. Julie can say it. Thank you, Julie. Thank you. It is what the Lord would want. Uh, thank you, Vix. Casey Cat. Jeff should not allow that person to continue to call and abuse you. He needs to put a stop to it or he's choosing her over you. That's already been done, Casey Cat. Then you have a choice to make. Scientology abuse you. No more. I love you, Casey Cat. You are so sweet. Katie Pie. Reese, because I want to, not for your friendship. Thank you, Katie Pie, for pointing that out. Nobody's buying me and I'm not buying anybody. Reese, you've got to do voice acting work. I have always been able to change up my voice pretty well. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'll be here all night. Thank you, Skyrider. Oh my God, she needs some flying monkeys. It was wild. It was weird. It was weird. I love it, Nancy. She better put her manners back in before she winds up as merch. Oh, that's the worst. Yeah. You know, we, speaking of merch, we should come up with something that says, and your little boyfriend too. Uh, Kathy loves horses. Love you, Reese, like this. Kathy, thank you. And you're not purchasing our friendship. She's just tipping me like a nice person would. Uh, yeah, it was weird, but it was so, and that's what I said, sweet koala. I was like, what is your point? And she was like, I see you on there with all these men and you're flirting. And I was like, girl, Clearly, you know this. I had a non-interbulation order on me when I was 16 because I was entertaining the men. You know what I mean? It seems to be a pattern here. Nothing new. And uh, if you watch it all, you know, yes. Oh, it was so weird. You and your boyfriend, your little boyfriend do. It was so weird. I was like, Sister Christian, you've got to do better than this. Buying your love. <laughs> Thank you, Alex. I love chaotic bleach. Dawn in Wyoming. She obviously, obviously doesn't know Gertie's relationship with the Lord. That's a good point. That is a great point. And it is deep. Her relationship runs incredibly deep with Christ. Janet and Nene Hobbs, as a Christian, we are told not to judge others. All I'm saying is she needs to step the F down and look in the mirror. Love you, Reese. I love you, babe. And that's actually what I said to her. I said, she goes, I am a good Christian. And I said, I'm impressed. I'm telling you right now with all the meddling you're doing and the little fires that you're starting, that's what I would expect on the resume of a Christian for sure. Yeah, definitely. Um, I'm, uh, I'm impressed. <laughs> Reese, I've done a live with you and I didn't feel like you were flirting with me. Okay. Well, let's, let's remedy that, Brian. I apologize. That's terrible news. I mean, that's all I'm famous for is flirting with the men folk. I'm so sorry that you didn't feel flirted with enough. I will, uh, I'll have to fix that, Brian. I deeply apologize. You know, what I think it is, Brian, honestly, you and I are like brother and sister. Do you ever notice I don't flirt with Aaron? Some people think I flirt with Aaron. I don't flirt with Aaron. I'm sorry. He is truly like my blood brother to me. I get annoyed with Aaron and Aaron gets incredibly annoyed with me and his face turns all red and then we laugh and then we get irritated again and then we get shitty comments it's just, a, it's just, a, we go back and forth like an argument. Tommy, I flirt with. Okay. No question. No question. I flirt with Falcon. Now, I mean, I've flirted with Sterling a little bit. Sterling feels like a brother too. I don't know. I want an inflatable ducky suit that looks like I'm riding the duck to protest down very soon. Oh my God, Casey Cat. That's hilarious. 
um, panty hamster hunter lurking, fight on site. Like, <clears throat> guys, our good friend George is watching. That's who that is. We love George in Clearwater. Yeah. What are you just pissed because somebody dropped a house on your sister? Tony's Hooter. Uh, she should be praying for you if you were so bad. Not judging. Get back on your bicycle as a D uh, F off into the forever. A four ninety nine three going rate. Tony Suter, I love you, girl. Um, I did say that, by the way. Um, <clears throat> for uh, doing what all of us with these same mean fifty five Bible beating ants, they are worse than our creepy uncles. Kristen, I again, guys. Uh, <laughs> well. I love that. You know, do you ever notice when it comes to me and Tommy, I am a hardcore flirt. Like I don't hide anything. It's out there. It's out there. He dances. He kind of, he tiptoes around. This is not tiptoeing and I want to see more of it. Okay. I want to, I want more brought to the table and I like this. I like it. You need to do more of it. I'm starting to get upset. I was wondering when you were, I've been waiting for you. I've been just waiting for you to catch up. Here's me and here's our little Falcon. And he's just, he's not, he's just fluttering around. Oh, Blake Reed. I hereby declare Sister Christian PKB. What's that? You say when, you say who, you say how much. <laughs> Lon, I love you. I hope your dad's doing better. Um, yeah, she said, I know, I love Tommy, you guys. She said, uh, at the end of the call, she said, you'll never be a Christian. And she said, uh, I said, Whew. I was like, are we done? What do you want to do about this girl? Shirley, thank you so much. And she goes, I want you to stop. And I was like, noted. And I said, I'm pretty sure. Uh, Hello, Southern Mimi. I said, I'm pretty sure people in hell want ice water. That's what my dad used to say. And she goes, oh, and your dad, <laughs> she goes, there's another one. Like I'm going to stick up for him or something. And she goes, he's not a Christian either. And I was like, okay, you clearly don't watch the show. Like now I'm starting to get upset. Are you a fan or not? Like, I don't want to have to catch you up. You know, I don't have that kind of time. We do this on YouTube. I'm not going to talk about it after hours. Go back and watch the beginning and get back with me. To fund more flirting, Andrea. Thank you, girl. Uh, I wonder how she can ride that broom with the stick up her ass. She said, uh, uh, he's not a Christian either. And I said, okay, yeah, that's correct. No, he's definitely a high up Scientologist. Um, and, oh, Jeff's watching. I can hear it echoing upstairs. Jeff, this doesn't have anything to do with you. I just want you to know right now, you and I are cool. Let's keep it that way. We're a couple of cucumbers. We're cool. Okay. We're cool. Anyway, she goes, uh, your dad isn't a Christian. And I said, that would be accurate. That's true. If you watch anything, his name's Gene Wally and he's not a Christian. Uh, and then she said, I prayed for you in the witch voice, which was confusing as all shit. I was like, don't when you say you pray for me, isn't it supposed to be like a delicate, soft, like a gentle voice? It was the same thing as the, and your little boyfriend too. She was like, I prayed for you. I was like, oh, oh, I don't know. I don't know that I want you praying for me, honestly, if you're going to talk like that. It kind of frightened me. It frightened my soul. And uh, go on then. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, it felt very like an accusation. Um, I prayed for you. I, it's one thing to go, I pray for you. But that's when people say that I always think I thank them. I'm like, well, that's so kind. Um, I don't know entirely what that entails, where I came from, but I appreciate it. I'm serious. I, I always take it as a compliment, but I've never once in my life, not once, not once had someone be like, I prayed for you. It was frightening. It was really kind of, it, 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 uh, yeah, it was uncomf. So, uh, guys, anyway, that's that. And, um, you know, neither here nor there. And, uh, 
like I always say, teach a man to fish. There's no lion in team, but, um, I, 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 I don't feel like that's a true Christian. I have to be honest. I don't know the definition. Skyrider, I love you. I don't know the definition truly of a Christian. Kim is blue. We're talking about a family member. Um, but I know that ain't it because I think Christians really are good people. I think a true Christian, here's the thing. Here's the thing I don't understand about a Christian is when a Christian goes around going, I'm a Christian. I don't know that I like that. I don't need you to label it because here's what my true, do I hear the phone ringing? No. My grand always had a saying near to the altar rail, the bigger, the rogue sending love. For, well, thank you, Shirley. Northern Ireland. That's awesome. Brookie, could you let down your hair? It does something for me. I will pay more. Tommy, we have watch wars. You want me to put my hair down? It's kind of dirty. I'll try. Um, PBK stands for psycho killer bitch, by the way. Okay. Okay. That makes a lot of sense. I would have never guessed that, but I love the, it makes me think of the song. Psycho killer. Qu'est-ce que c'est? Okay, I put it down, Brookie. Ooh, yeah, it's not good, girl. It's not good. I don't know why you wanted it. I don't know why you wanted it down. Um, Love you, Anne. Reese, will you please tell her out loud that I want her to fuck off? We just did it. There you go, Denver Stevo. Well, that's what I finally said. I feel kind of bad. I said... I'm really just looking for you to fuck off, like right into the foreverness you go. Do you think you could? And she went, <laughs> I'm serious. I'm not kidding. That's exactly how this thing laughed. It went, <laughs> I was like, you're not even a smoker. You sound like you smoke a pack a day in that laugh. Please don't ever do that again to me. You know, it's weird. Words don't hurt me. Sounds do. You know, don't be scaring me. Don't be like, and your little boyfriend too. And don't be like, <laughs> that's frightening. Okay. That's like, I feel like John Wayne Gacy is in the basement waiting for me. Don't make noises. I'm okay with telling me I'm a piece of shit. That's totally cool. You're crossing a line when you start making creep ass noises. Katie, when one has to state, I'm a good Christian. Yeah. Red flag. I've always felt that way too. Everything she said sounds like a hypocritical joke. Yeah. It's people like this that make me wrestle with my faith. I'll be praying for her. Katie, that is such a good point. And thank you for giving me money about it. I'm saying it like that because she kept pointing out that like I'm using people for money. Um, so since she's watching, I thought when in Rome, uh, it was a maniacal cackle. Yeah. Brooke Elliott. Okay. You paid me again to put it down. Thank you, girl. All right. All right. Guys, I didn't expect Jeff to say anything. It's not its not Jeff's style to say anything. So I can handle my own anyway. But I am, uh, I got to be honest. It does seem weird when people are like, I'm a Christian. Like, I don't know. Is that like a free pass? Is that, hey, Emily Brooks. Is it like a, I don't know. It's always felt weird to me. It's a, it's a forced, awkward feeling. <laughs> You're welcome. It was our friendship money. Exactly. It's always been a forced, awkward feeling to me. I believe that if you have any kind of a religion where you have a relationship with God, which by the way, I always wish I had a relationship with God. I've always said I'm envious of that. Wouldn't that be kind of private with you and God? If I ever develop a relationship with God, which I have hopes for that one day, that will be very private. It's between me and God. I don't need to go around saying, I believe in God. I'm a Christian. It just doesn't feel right to me. Now, if you do that, you do that. I'm not saying you're wrong. Uh, here's my friend tax. Oh God, Joe. Thank you. I was going to try to collect after the show, but thank you so much. Uh, yeah. Super weird, right? Marla Dillard. I'd love to talk to Denver sometime. We've talked about it, but then he, uh, he kind of took some time off and I didn't see him for a while. I'm so happy to see him back. Wendy says, I'm a Reese friendship freeloader. I, and you know what? That's okay. We'll talk about it at another time. Um, but yeah, I expect to collect all the tax because apparently I'm just a grifter and uh, that's what I do. Uh, does she wear one of those giant blingy crosses? Sometimes. Yeah, I've seen it. I've seen it. Um, I don't know how I feel. It's just, uh, it's uncomfortable. Thank you, Tammy Wells. It's uncomfortable. So um, yeah, more where that came from, I'm sure. But I did get it all on recording. Yeah, the passive aggressive, I'll pray for you insult. That's always weird too. That's always weird too. 
And Mina, oh my God, your actions should say Christian before your mouth does. Good one. I agree with that. Next time, hang up. Even if it's good for making us laugh. Oh my God, so toxic. Love you, girl. Hamina, thank you for saying that. And thank you for your super chat. Uh, it's true. Um, it's true. You feel sorry for Jeff. I feel sorry for Jeff to an extent with this too, honestly, for his family. I mean, I feel bad that he's in this situation and I have created a lot of it myself. So it's not like I'm going, poor Jeff, I didn't do it. No, I, I get that I did it. I usually do do it. That's typically me. Okay, Denver. <laughs> I love Shelly. Real Christians don't need to announce that they that they are. Lady, you are a fake. We denounce you. Yes. Uh, I haven't sent anything in a while. We're still friends, right? <laughs> Rhonda. I love Rhonda McNeil. Yes, girl. And whenever I come to Chicago, it's going to be you and me and enchiladas, just us three. Maya, please be my friend. Thank you so much, Maya. You know, it wouldn't have worked out had you not super chatted me. We need to make sure and make that clear um, for Jeff's lovely Christian sister, Christian family member. Uh, how long does the recording need to age? Uh, it's going to be a second, but don't worry. We'll, we'll uh, get it there. Is she even a practicing Christian? Oh, I'm pretty sure this girl goes to church. Yeah. And guys, let's make this clear right here. Cause I don't want to walk away from this live of people being like Reese's mean about, you know, she attacks people's religions, nothing like that. I respect, absolutely respect people's religions. When you rub it in my face though like that, or you make me feel less, that's where we have a problem. And that's not just religion, that's anything. You know, that's anything. That's someone who's trying to say, I'm smarter than you, I'm better than you. Not cool, not cool. And it's also not cool. It's kind of what Jeff does to me sometimes where he's like, oh, you're being a Scientologist. It's like, you're using that against me and that's not cool either. Cause she was like, you're in a cult. And I was like, okay, yeah. I have a whole channel about it. Like, what are you doing? What are you doing? Like, what angle are you trying to come at me with? I don't understand. Um, original, original Alexa, here's me paying you off to be for, <laughs> to be my friend. Love you, babe. Don't let Bette Medler get under your beautiful skin. I love you, Alexa. Thank you so much, babe. That is so kind and funny. Ah, it's Kai. Tried to flirt with Reese, but I wasn't old enough to get into the club. That's true. But she did say if I were older, she'd be all over my Shrek bod. That's true, too. Uh, never been more flattered to be compared to Shrek. Lots of love. I remember saying that. Kai, I think you are a babe. It's just, yeah, we're. I think you're younger than me, and that's a prob. I just can't be attracted to it. I would feel like the babysitter or something. But no, otherwise, I think you're super cute. But, you know, we all know your wife is hot, too. So let's give credit where credit's due. And I love your Shrek bod in all seriousness. I just think you're so cute. I can't wait to squeeze you again. You're a good huggy bear, too. You give a lot of good hugs, Kai. Uh, Raid's friend tax. Thank you so much. I was going to collect after with you, too, because I, you guys are, it is, you're a couple. So I need you to make sure that you pay for both. Thank you so much, Joe. SB, uh, Thank you for your super sticker, my friend. Right. You were in a cult, Shelly. Hamina, come to Mexico. I'll make enchilada. Oh, God, girl, don't be teasing. Or at least virtual lunch, and I will give you the best recipe. I would love that. I would love to come to Mexico. Maybe we can do our tour there. Thank you for super chatting me. I agree, love and life. Casey Cat. Please keep Huxley away from this woman. Uh, yeah, Huxley really doesn't like this woman. She's said some pretty awful things about him. Uh, he's been through it enough. Uh, by the way, going to church doesn't make you a Christian, nor saying you are. She's just a biatch. Yeah, Casey Cat, And it's true. Sandy Wandy, you're a member. I love that. Thank you, babe. Um, I think you and Kai would make a hot couple. Blake, I mean, we would. Absolutely. But it would be all Kai because he's so cute and he's got a good, he's just got the good scruff. He's good. Um, he's got a really pretty wife and, uh, Kai, I try not to break up too many marriages. Uh, and I definitely want to stay out of that one. Yeah. Mary Jones is her face green. Kind of. Katie Fulton. I know that about you better together. Please sing manners in to, oh my God. Your manners in. 
What's your price for flight? Oh my God, it doesn't quite work the same, but that was clever, girl, and I love it. Thank you for paying me to do that. As we all know, um, that's what it takes these days. She's been rude about Huxley as far as um, really hardcore pushing Boy Scouts on him. And um, I've always been a, the parent that says, if you don't want to do it, you don't have to do anything you don't want to do. I hate forcefulness because I was raised in nothing but everything I didn't want to do. So I've been very serious grow, growing, my, growing my child, raising my child in the sense by saying, you don't have to do anything you don't want to do outside of school, right? Like things reasonable. She called Jeff recently and told Jeff I wasn't supportive. I'm not a supportive mother. And it really pissed me off. Now, I didn't do anything about it. This shit's just been building. And I think that's why last night I lost my mind. Um, but I heard her say it. I heard her say it. I was standing there. And she was like, she's not supportive of not enough of Huxley doing scouts. And she needs to be more supportive. And Jeff was like, okay, she's standing here. So yeah, she's just a nasty. It, it's been nothing but opinions. And uh, yeah, Blake, Marion, thank you. Thank you for the friend tax. Um, yeah, she's just, I, I think she just really enjoys sticking her nose in uh, to other people's uh, business. Yeah. Um, and in light of what recently happened, hey, Maya, thanks for becoming a member, babe. Uh, what recently happened with the Scouts? Um, Huxley had something terrible happen to him and the Boy Scouts two weeks ago. Um, and I, I'm not going to share what happened because I'm going to let him do that. It's his business. But he did tell me that I'm allowed to say that to you guys. And he's very embarrassed. He's very upset. It was extremely violating and uh, it shook me so hardcore. And um, I gave Hux, I said, you absolutely don't have to do scouts anymore. And he was like, good, because I'm not. I mean, he was so shaken up and traumatized by what happened. It was serious, guys, like police involved, things like that. Don't worry, we've got reports. We've done, we're doing a forensic investigation. Um, it's serious. Margie Barr, oh, thank you so much. Thanks for the birthday wish. Today's your birthday? Did I tell you happy birthday on Facebook? I hope I did. Happy birthday, my love. And thank you for your friend tax. Yeah, yeah. Um, so she's always been very forceful about scouts with Huxley and like how important it is. And his mother isn't supportive of him. You know, the old wicked witch voice about it. Um, yeah, it's, it's nothing for Huxley to be embarrassed about. I'm furious about what happened. And uh, it's something that, it's going to take some time for him to get over for sure. It's very, very upsetting guys. I'm not going to say what it was, but you can probably put it together in your mind because they I've heard have had some reputations of things like that. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know, but I'm not going to say what it was. And uh, we'll just leave it at that until Huxley's comfortable with it. But just so you know, I asked Huxley what I could share and everything I just shared. He said was fine. I got his permission because it is his business and it did happen to him. Thank you guys. It was absolutely so traumatizing for both of us. It was very, very upsetting. And uh, yes, yes, Duchess Diana. So guys, I have to blow my nose again. I'm having, uh, it's really windy here and warm. And every time I get spring allergies really bad, hold on. Okay. Yeah, I don't think this individual, see, that's the thing is it's like, don't, uh, don't be coming at me, especially family, because we've got quite a family here. And if anybody is protective uh, of Huxley, it's this group of people right here. I know you guys, I know how much you love Huxley. I know how much you treat him like your grandchild, your little brother, your, your adopted kid. So many of you love Huxley. And why wouldn't you? That kid wait till you see the interview that came out yesterday on the podcast I did. I'm hoping that comes out in like a, a, a week, like a week or two. Um, I really went into Huxley and just talked about how much that child has saved me, like in every way. Yeah. He is my rock. He is, he is who I go to a lot and have for a long time for advice. Huxley is so smart 
and he, you guys know Huxley. He's he doesn't like just react to things. He thinks things through. That's why what happened here was so even more upsetting for me because what happened and when I tried to talk about it, he was like, "Mom." He was like, I just want to forget about it. Like, it's embarrassing. He was like, it's awful. He was like, I'm traumatized by it. He was like, and I don't usually say that word. He was like, but I just want to uh, get away from it. It was terrible, you guys. It was the worst thing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Therapy, absolutely cricket. We're all over it. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be, a, 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 he has to. Um, yeah, Huxley is a rare he is just an amazing person. And I said in this interview yesterday, he's an old wise soul. Yes, he is. Um, thank you, Darlene. Huxley reminds me of Blake Reed too. And I think it's funny because Huxley loves Blake Reed. So that's kind of interesting. They're, they're fairly close anyway. Um, guys, the meddler is very much involved in the scouts. Hugely involved. Dirty Mouse, making it rain, friend. Sending big bucks. Yes, girl. Thank you so much. I was questioning our friendship. So I'm so thankful that you sent me that $5. Thank you. Thank you. Because we all know that's what matters in, in this life. Thank you, babe. Love you. Um, I can't say that, Will Huber. I'm not going to answer that. Um, Casey Cat. Jeff is hugely involved in Boy Scouts. So Jeff would like to see Huxley continue in Boy Scouts, but that's because Jeff is an Eagle Scout and Jeff really supports and believes in the Boy Scouts. That's not anything I'm mad at Jeff for by any means, but uh, Jeff would like to see him continue. As his mother, no. I will protect Huxley always. I don't care if that kid is 50 years old. It's a no. It's an absolute no. Now, I gave him a choice. I mean, I, of course, talked at length. We had deep, deep conversations. And I said, if you still want to do, and he didn't even let me finish. He was like, no, I don't want to do it anymore. And I said, done. Signed and done. You will never, ever be told you have to do something like that after something happens to you. Um, absolutely not. Yes, Patricia. Yes. Uh, yeah, we don't play that game. Absolutely not. I'm a cool mom like that. I'm never going to force my kid to do something he doesn't want to do. Not to mention, I am so lucky to have him. And then I am going to hop off. I am so lucky to have Huxley because he is somebody I could always trust to make his own decisions. I've never been that mom that's like, you're going to do this and you're going to do that. I don't have to. I'm a guide I love to guide him. I love to sit down with him and go, interesting. Do you want to do it? You know, let's weigh out the pros and cons. But I have never, uh, never been like, you're going to do this. I've never been that parent. I didn't have to. Huxley is such a good, smart thinker. Um, Tampa B, I love you. Um, yeah, I agree, King's kid. Uh, yeah, Julie Markham, going back would be traumatizing. Yeah. Well, Jeff, again, and this particular family member truly believe like scouts will just shape a person to be the best they can be. And it will open all kinds of doors and opportunities. And if you don't do it, you're screwing yourself and you're going to learn leadership opportunities and, you know, survival skills. That may be true, but it's a case by case basis. And Huxley has never enjoyed it. He has like 20% of the time. He loved doing the camp outs. Huxley loves being outside. That's a no brainer. He likes camping out. Otherwise though, he never liked it. And so, uh, nope, we're not going down that path ever again. I will never force Huxley to do anything he doesn't want to do. And he's so smart. Oh my God, you're still here. Or did you just come back? I can't believe this. I am so turned on by our, our new friendship where we throw money at me. It's a whole new thing. You started, you started a new addiction. Falcon Scout. I like it. I like that. We might use that sometime. Thank you. Um, these two particular individuals are just huge supporters of the Scouts. Now, guys, I'm not tearing them down for that, by the way. You know, they had success with the Boy Scouts. They still continue to. And um, I don't have a problem with that. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
Manners in, what's your price for auditing? Oh my God. That is the best thing I've ever heard, Better Together. You're amazing. Hold on. What kind of dog is that? He's a standard poodle. Well, 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 speak of our little poo poo head. Look who just got home from baseball practice. Let me pull up a chair. Oh, pull up a chair. Look how cute Huxley is. I hope all of you know Huxley, but I thought, let's say hi to him. God, he's cute, isn't he? Let's squeeze him. Hi, poo poo. Hey. How was practice? It was good. Sure look cute. Yeah, I just got on for baseball. Look at his new hat because he made the team. Oh, my God, he's so cute. Um, we're talking about you. Oh, yeah. I worked for the Boy Scout Council office in Denver. I would take calls for our CEO, and I could just imagine. It's become a very abusive program. Wow. <clears throat> just so you know, <clears throat> thank you for your super chat. I don't want you to feel uncomfortable. I was sharing that. Uh, something happened in scouts, but they don't know what it is. And I just said, you're not going to do scouts anymore because you don't want to do it. Yeah. Yeah. So just don't, I don't want you to, we already talked about this and I don't want you to feel like you just told details. I didn't want you to share. Nobody knows anything. It's just people were saying they love you and they support you not being a boy scout. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, oh, Huxley tax. Love you, kid. Oh my God. So Thanks, cute. Dawn. how was baseball? It was really good. It got some, got a lot of hitting today, like hitting practice and um, some fielding practice. You know, like outfielder, mainly ground balls, some fly balls and stuff, stuff like that. Tommy says hi. Oh, what's up, Tommy? There he is. Saying your name, boy. Lavender Bridges with a touch of Giles. Giles, hi, Huxley. Hope you had a great day at baseball. Thank you, friend. Yeah, thank you. What'd you do? What else? What do you know? Did you make any friends? Did you talk to the coach? I don't know how sports work. Um, oh, this is the real question. It's a normal practice. Are there any cute cheerleaders? Uh, no. Not in middle school. I don't think so. Are there any cute girls? Yeah. Yeah, but they're just not cheerleaders. Do you have a girlfriend? Well, first of all, you will not. I mean, if I had a girl, I would, I would probably like have her over or something. That's actually not the question that I asked. So let's try that again. No, I don't. Don't um, lie, son. You don't even alarm me, have any? Son, smile if you're lying. I knew it. I knew it. Son, no, I don't. I, don't. I was a Scientologist. You can't get past me. Uh, Rip Curl Readiness. Oh, Usually I don't. don't do super chats, but for this context, thank you, babe. That is so kind. Love for Huxley. Thank you, Katie Pie. Oh, my God. Thank you. For the amazing Huxley. Thanks, guys. Aww, you guys are so cute. Thank you. So tell us about her. What's her name? I don't know. Don't name. lie. We're past this. I have some girls who are into me because I've heard from other people, but like, that's more like it. I'm being I'm being honest. Like I actually know a girl right now. Okay. I'm being honest. I have this year. I have. I'm being honest, but not right now. Mm hmm. Don't worry about it, Abigail. Okay. I'm serious. I, I need a haircut. You have one coming up next week. I have too Son? Much, I have too much hair. I'm serious. I that's the first time that's the first time that i lost okay all right we'll believe you um so of all the sports so far this year we've done wrestling we've done football we've done baseball yeah what's our favorite definitely uh football i knew it i knew the answer i was just asking for the crowd um but wrestling i loved wrestling too i got pretty good at wrestling you did he did you won a lot of your wrestling tournaments yeah well i got i didn't Winning, but I got I got close to winning. Well, I won my bracket. Yeah, that's, that's what I why, mean. That's why you meant. Yeah, you kicked some ass, son. Uh, thank you, T. Lewis. Huh? 
Huxley's love cup. Uh, T. Louise. Oh, Louise. Thank you. Your mom has a Scientology stare. That she does. Uh, Huxley, it's Lose Lose trying to answer her question. Wait, somebody said Joe Virus. Somebody said hockey. No, I don't. Oh, Joe. Sorry, I don't. I don't play hockey. But you probably would, wouldn't you? Yeah, if I if I played in um if I was in Minnesota, it's not very cold down here. Somebody said star kicker. Yeah, yeah, I'm getting pretty good at place kicker. Are you? It took a really long time for me to get the rhythm and the steps because. I kick at the side of my foot, not towing it, you know. Man, Reese, you know Blake Reed. Pulling those pro mom moves. He's pretty much mastered that stare. But word of advice, don't do that to a girl until after she's your girlfriend. Yeah, that'll probably just drive her away. Yeah. There's actually a lot of things that will drive a girl away. And we should talk about that sometime. But I do want you to know, um, girls are annoying. They can be, but they can also be pretty good. So. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, what did you say the other day when I took you to the mall? Don, Hux, my what nephew plays football and will travel. Scouts suck. Scholarship from sports, not scouts. Yeah. Yeah. Well, he wants to get a scholarship for that. Um, Maybe I could if I keep, if I really keep working at it. All right. Speaking of, speaking of girls, we were at the mall the other day, which we never go to the mall. And this really hot girl walked by, like I'm talking really hot. Remember? And I said to Jeff, yeah. I was like, God, I wish I looked like that. And he was like, why? And I said, you wouldn't like me to look like that. And he was like, no, I like the way you look. That was sweet. And I said, that's what all men want, Jeff. That's what they all want you to look like. And Jeff goes, that's what you think. He was like, but that's not what men want. And Oxley was like, no, actually it is. <laughs> yeah, but I didn't, I said they like both. I mean, you're good too. I'm not going to say. Oh, you think I'm cute? Yeah. Well, nothing, nothing wrong. Well, what a little pigeon wing. Really? Yeah, I'm serious. You still think I got it? Yeah. Oh. You're not, you're not like ugly. Well, that is so sweet, son. Wow. I'm serious. I'm, I mean, I mean, yeah, some, I mean, men are, you know, they have different, different types, you know, like, like of girls. I mean, you know, that's like, true. You know, they do tend to have, uh, is Huxley growing a stash? He is. It's starting to look thicker than mine. What a great uh, young man. Keep up the good work. I really Rip girl. I, I wish Thank I, you. I wish I want to get a beer. I really want to get a beer. I don't. And I, get, I have one. And I'm telling you, once it starts, uh, yeah, you're not ugly, <laughs> my son. No, you're not. you're not. You don't think so? No. No, I think you're, I think you're beautiful. Oh, Huxley, you do? I'm serious, I'm serious. Well, I hope that's true because we look a lot alike. Yeah, I, I trust me, I would have I would have let you know if you were. You would let me know if I was ugly? I appreciate that because if you were ugly, I would tell you too. Oh, well, thank you. I said that when you were born. I said, I'm afraid he's gonna. it's going to be ugly. And my mom said, no, because, you know, when people are born, when babies are born, the moms think they're cute no matter what. And I said, oh, not me. I'm super shallow. I know what's cute. I know what's ugly. And if he's ugly, I'm going to know. And uh, yeah, don't be in a hurry, Hux. Facial hair sucks. That's Tommy. Oh, yeah. That's Tommy. He knows what he's talking about. Tommy knows his stuff. Um, yeah. But you're right. You, we both ended up cute, didn't we? Yeah. 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 We did. You would tell me, though, if you thought I was ugly? Yeah, I would. He's yeah. definitely mine. Shallow, shallow. Hmm? Ma, wait, where did that go? Kid speaks it. I was the world's ugliest baby. Oh, I don't know about that. I've seen some. Please. That's the most ridiculous thing. I bet you had your giant nose even then. It was probably the cutest thing we've ever seen. Did you know Tommy has like a falcon beak? He has the best so. nose that you've ever seen. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Tommy's pretty badass looking because he's Italian. Oh, yes. Yeah, and he looks like he straight up walked off the set of The Sopranos. And sometimes when he's tired, he talks like he's in The Sopranos because he's from there. Talk like a New Yorker. Huh? Yeah. And oh, so, I've heard him talk. I think I've heard you say that he talks like Yeah, that. they call it punchy over there in New yeah. York. I still don't know what that means. Um, but he gets that way and then he talks like that. And, uh, I have to be honest, it works for me. Yeah. That's funny. He tried to talk like that. 
Yeah. Try to me. Yeah. yeah. You do it. Tired of talking like a New York Italian. It, Tommy does it. He does it when he gets tired and it gets weird. It gets. He's laughing. See? He is. To talk like this. Yeah, so, he doesn't. He doesn't quite say talk. It's not like Sandy McKenna. But I, he, I don't really know a good impression. I can't really get a good impression. You probably can. I can't think of anything right now. No, I've heard her say some good impressions. I, I think I've heard you say some good impressions. Remember when I was no, arguing but, last night with that individual on the phone? Yeah. Don't say the name. Yeah, I won't. I, I won't say. Them. Did you think I was talking about it before you got here? Did you think that she sounded like the Wicked Witch from Wizard she, of Oz? Yeah, she. She was like. Does. She always. She does. was like, I know you and your little boyfriend too. Remember yeah. that? Yeah, she she's always sounding like that. She's annoying. She's always in other people's business. She's a meddler, son. She's sticking her nose and stuff. We're she's sticking that know. nose right in. And you know, you can't be sticking your nose in unless you have a nose like Tommy. <laughs> yeah, or a, yeah, or a nose like a troll or something. It, uh, yeah. Like that, like that individual. Yeah, that individual is a bit of a troll. Yeah, she looks. Oh, Huxley, you got to get some cream for that burn, son. Uh, okay, well, shots fired. Why were you timed out? I'm sure it was an accident, sweet koala. I just don't like what she was saying. You, you don't? No. Yeah, it was weird, wasn't it? Huxley witnessed that whole conversation. What are your thoughts about it, son? I was, I was going back and forth, but my mom was just not letting it slide. Lisa, I love that. Yeah, I wasn't letting it slide, was I? Did you think I was a bit aggressive? I got oh, a little oh, aggressive. I'm not exaggerating. I was breathing fire. Yeah. 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 Steam is coming out of your ears. Yeah, a little bit. It got serious. It got uh, serious real quick. Uh, Huxley, have you ever wanted to play an instrument? Um. Yeah, I did. Um. Guitar. But you didn't. Oh no. No, I got got with sports. Sorry, I probably shouldn't. Have, I shouldn't have said that. Dragon Reese. Oh my God! It's George. What are you doing? Oh, hi, Prancy. It's Chauncey. Uh, Hux and Reese, aw, two of the most beautiful humans. George, I Thank love you. you. I got to FaceTime with George for like 30 seconds today, and it was so nice. Um, Thank you, George. Oh, pretty little. Get the kid a guitar. Oh, I, I would not have time to play. I've, I'm too busy. Um. You should try it sometime, though, if you want to do it. I mainly want to do it because it's my, some of my, on my dad's side of the family played guitar and bass and stuff, you know? Son, there's plenty of time. You're 14. Yeah. Some people, some people start playing like five. Well, I think that's piano. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I don't know a whole lot about instruments, guys. So. I would like to oh, buy Huxley a burger. That's so sweet. Right, so. Thank you, Duchess Diana. Thank Melissa, you. thanks for being a new member, babe. Um, guys, thank you for all the memberships. I think it's so cool that you guys are doing that. I still am kind of blown away by it. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for all your super chats. Um, you know, we have to point that out because this particular person said that I buy my friends. So we want to make sure that we validate that. Um, the haters, the haters. Greta said, girls like guitar boys. I mean, players. Somebody said that in the chat. I think it went away. Girls like guitars? Players? Guitar players. Oh, guitar players. Yeah. Girls also like guys that play sports. Yeah, like football or baseball. Basketball. Yeah. 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 Okay. Um, just slow down on it, son. Girls, there's plenty of time for girls, and we are really annoying. Yes, Keela, you're buying me. Oh, I, I already knew that. The girls are annoying. Oh yeah. Oh god. I mean, guys can be annoying too. Oh lord, yes. But girls are a particular kind of annoying. We're we're fairly needy. You know your mother. Yeah. I'm needy. Not all the time. Really? No. It's not. It's not that bad. You don't think it's that bad, or you no, just I'm being that? honest. You you can be, but I feel like everybody is. Huxley, sometimes. this is what I mean, guys. My rock, so level headed. So level-headed. Just in case I need to buy Huxley also tax paid. Oh, thank you, Lisa. You know, I was going to collect. I was going to ask for that. Thank you so much. 
Girls are uh, trouble. Oh, Blake plays a little guitar. Oh, nice, Blake. You know, we should go visit Blake sometime in Georgia. Oh, he lives in Georgia? Mm-hmm. Yeah, kind of cool. Yeah. Um, he is very mature. He's just super chill. He's a good thinker. He's not like super react. He's just, Huxley is so cool. Thank you. They like you. Oh, I can tell. Yeah. I talked about yesterday on the podcast I did, how special everybody made your birthday because it was your first birthday out of Scientology and your first Christmas out of Scientology. Yeah. Oh, can I go on a payment plan for your friendship? That's a good question. I think we should refer all those questions to the troll, um, to the hate and see, see if that's something she can approve of. Thank you, Jilbo. I'll get back to you on that. You seem tired, son. Yeah, I kind of am from practice. From baseball? Yeah. Okay. Well, I think we'll sign off. I'll get you some dins. Thank and you uh, uh, Amanda, I think the podcast is going to come out in a week to two weeks. Yes, absolutely. Original land. Um, yeah, it's, it's uh, the memberships. Yeah. The memberships are just a monthly friend payment plan. Jilbo, I suggest you get a membership. You can choose what friendship payment plan you want to be on. And I think that's a good way to start. Baby Angel, I do not share that with you. Yeah, the payment plans are memberships. That's what they are. Thank you for pointing that out, guys. Um, I love you guys. I'm going to feed him a little dins. Panko. Oh, my God. I love Panko. Hux, please buy yourself something. Oh, my God. Thank you, Panko. I love Panko. Panko is such a good friend. That is oh really God. kind. Thank you. Thank you. That is so kind. So cool. Really you, kind. Panko. Thank you very oh my much. That's 100 bucks. It's a lot. These people, Hux, they love us and they do it because they want to. Holy cow. <clears throat> it's amazing. Thank you, Panko. Keela, you know Keela. I love you and your mom. Love you, Keela. Thank you, Keela. Love you. Love you. That's so nice, you guys. All right, so I'm going to feed him. Okay, so everybody needs to know this because there's almost a thousand people still in here. Please, 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 if you have time tonight, I'm going to do a pretty serious interview with Tommy. It's not going to be the jokey, flirty fun. We're going to do some heavy stuff. There may be a few tears. Yeah, this is our third mid Midwest goodbye. Thank you for keeping track, SBTV Tattoo Warrior. Um, Love you, Katie Fulton. Love you, Fancy Nancy. So uh, if you guys have time, I want you to watch that interview tonight with Tommy. I think it's going to be pretty uh, riveting. Good word. All right. Uh, oh, what time? Seven o'clock, my time, which is um, central. So six o'clock Pacific, five o'clock East Coast, West Coast. What is West Coast called? West Coast, it'll be 5 o'clock. Eastern, Eastern time is on the East Coast. That would be an hour later. It will be 8 o'clock Eastern. Time. I don't know. 7 o'clock standard freaking time. Okay. Yes. Actually, that's a great way of saying it, Skyrider. It starts in one hour. Everybody's time. The interview starts in one hour. I hope you guys Pacific. will be able to make the time to come back. I'm going to go feed Huxley. And then in one hour, I'm going to be on with Tommy. So, I got those leftovers. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you have leftovers. Did you eat your pasta from the other day? Your Casconis? Oh, no. Okay. No. That's what I was planning on you. Okay. This is what we went to yesterday. We got barbecue. Yeah, yesterday was barbecue. Okay. Um, so, perfect. If you guys can come, I'd love to see you in an hour. I think it's going to be really interesting. And uh, thank you again for listening tonight. Thank you for being here for me. I mean it. Your support's amazing. I'm, I just can't get enough of you guys. Thank you, Rain Virus. I love Rain Virus and her husband, Joe Virus. Uh, okay, so I will see you guys in an hour. Thank you for your super chats. Thank you for listening to me. And everybody say bye to the Haitas. We have to acknowledge the Haitas. The Haitas. Okay. Um, see you in an hour, guys. Here comes Fred. Later, haters. Oh my God, I love it. Later, hater. Um, here comes Fred. And uh, it will be on, yeah, both channels. It will also be on The Lifeboat. That is Tommy Scoville's channel. And he's doing the interview on The Lifeboat. So I will see you guys there. And I love you. And here's Fred. See Bye, you. guys. See you guys. See you, Tommy.